LV55 Media LLC presents Private Investigations Read Aloud, a chronological scene-by-scene -scene read-through of the Private Investigations Book 1 and Book 2 novel for the viewing community. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. A blue sedan rounds the corner and drives up the street before pulling into the driveway and parking. Stephen exits his vehicle, grabs his tech bag, then shuts the car door and walks towards the house. Upon arriving at the front door, he pulls his smartphone out and punches several numbers on his phone screen and a sound of a sliding bolt is heard unlocking the door. Stephen opens the door and enters. Twenty minutes later, Stephen is busy in the kitchen having just prepared a sandwich. He places it on a paper plate, pulls a soda from the refrigerator, then places both items on the tray sitting on the counter. He exits the kitchen and walks through the hallway to the guest bedroom. While standing in front of the guest bedroom door trying to pull his cell phone from his back pocket and simultaneously holding the tray with the sandwich and beverage, the items begin sliding across the tray's edge. Stephen quickly levels the tray preventing the items from falling off, then places the tray on the floor. He punches several numbers on his phone screen and a sliding bolt sound is heard allowing him to open the door. Upon entering, he observes Lisa curled up on the floor, sitting in the corner of the room. Steven sets the tray with the sandwich and soda on the floor next to Lisa, then kneels down next to her. Don't try anything stupid. Remember, we still have your mother under surveillance. Understand? Lisa slightly nods her head. Steven removes the bandana from around Lisa's mouth, pulls a key from his pocket, and unlocks the handcuffs. Lisa immediately rubs her wrist, then grasps the sandwich and takes a bite while Stephen unscrews the top of the soda. After you finish eating, I have to leave, but I'll be back in a while. Lisa takes another bite from the sandwich, then takes a long sip of soda. Stephen parks his car in front of a particular fourplex. He picks up his Alliance tech bag and a notebook and exits his vehicle. He momentarily stands directly in front of the two-story building, studying its house numbers. After slinging his bag over his shoulder, Stephen flips open a notebook to verify the house number. He closes the notebook and walks towards the door of the unit furthest to his left. Upon arriving at the front porch, he sets his bag on the ground, opens the notebook again, but this time to a page showing a photo of a young woman with blonde hair. Stephen closes the notebook and knocks on the security screen door. Hello, he yells out. It's Stephen from Alliance Surveillance. As Stephen spends several moments glancing around at the surrounding neighborhood, a young woman finally arrives at the front door. Hi there, a cheerful young woman announces before unlocking the screen door and opening it. Come on in. After Stephen enters the townhouse, he briefly looks around. My parents were expecting you to come by yesterday, she states, causing Stephen to frown. Yesterday? I don't understand, he responds, somewhat perplexed. Yeah, let me go get the notes my dad left for me to give to you. I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable. As the woman jogs up the staircase, Stephen sets his Alliance surveillance tech bag down and surveys the house surroundings again, this time more in depth. Do you live here with your parents, he yells out. I'll be right down in a second. I can't quite hear you, she yells back. After several moments, the young woman descends the staircase carrying a piece of paper in her hand. Here you go, she says, handing the note to Stephen, then watching him read it. Your appointment was set up for yesterday, he asks, still appearing somewhat confused. Yeah, Alliance told my parents they would send a technician out yesterday to write up the order and set up the installation date for our new security system upgrade. Stephen momentarily rubs his chin while reading the note again. I guess there's been some kind of mix up. I just found out about this this morning. The woman nonchalantly shrugs her shoulders. It's not a big deal, I guess. Do you live here with your parents, Stephen inquires? Not really, I'm just living here temporarily. So you're here all by yourself, he inquires again. 
Well, yeah, for right now. To learn more about Sam Aquino and the many other characters involved in these mysterious, intriguing, suspenseful, and coincidental fiction stories, purchase a copy of Private Investigations, Book 1 and Book 2, in one volume by visiting Doran's Publishing, available both in softcover and ebook formats, also available at Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble.